hello welcome to another video today i will be discussing the continuation of hip bone and today i will be taking up the parts of ileum ileum bone consists of three borders and two surfaces this is anterior border this is posterior border and this is the medial border and this is gluteal surface also called the lateral surface and this is the medial surface let us take up one by one first we'll take up the iliac crest this is the iliac crest which extend in between anteriorly anterior superior iliac spine and posteriorly posterior superior iliac spine the iliac crest laterally it is convex whereas in the medially it is concave on the iliac crest if we look into the lateral surface or lateral leaf which shows a most prominent part is called iliac tubercle iliac crest can be divided for the descriptive purpose anterior two-third is called ventral segment and posterior one-third which is extend up to the posterior superior iliac spine is called dorsal segment now anterior border anterior border which extends from anterior superior iliac spine downwards to the acetabulum this is the acetabulum which i will be discussing later in as a separate video lower part of anterior border which shows a prominent structure is called anterior inferior iliac spine the groove or notch in between these two spines is called iliac notch talking about the posterior border which extend from posterior superior iliac spine downwards and which continues as a deep notch called greater sciatic notch which is behind to the acetabulum and it continues downwards as the posterior border of the ischium which we'll be discussing later now surface this is the lateral surface or also called the gluteal surface consists of few features which generally arises from the greater sciatic notch which we can see here it's a it is a, a line a ridge which is extending from the roof of greater sciatic notch which runs upwards from the greater sciatic nerves towards the iliac crest posteriorly called posterior gluteal line another line which from the greater sciatic nerves upward then forward which reaches to the iliac tubercle is called anterior gluteal line the faint line which extends above the margin of acetabulum is called inferior gluteal line just above the acetabulum there is a groove whereas posterior to the acetabulum gluteal surface surface continues downwards as the surface of ischium now talking about the medial surface medial surface consists of two part this is the pelvic part and this is sacro pelvic part the pelvic part is smooth deep whereas sacro pelvic part which is here medial border on its above and posterior part is sharp whereas the lower and front is blunt 
which continues with the posterior aspect of pubis bone called arcuate line now talking about the sacro pelvic part is divided into three parts for descriptive purpose the posterior most part which shows the larger eminence is called ileal tuberosity anterior to its ileal tuberosity which shows the ear pinna like appearance and articular surface is called auricular surface anterior to its there is shallow diff and rough sulcus is called pre auricular sulcus pre auricular sulcus is more prominent in case of female pelvis or hip bone the arcuate line which extend to the eminence which is in between the ilium and pubic bone is called ilio pubic eminence hope from this video it is helpful for you to understand the parts of ilium in next video i will be discussing about the parts of ischium as well as the pubic if possible till then goodbye take care